Hey guys, it's Trim Bob Games and welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are having the most spectacular day ever. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an aesthetic Bloxburg bedroom tutorial. If you guys saw this shorts I made right here, which I made a couple days ago, I made this very cute aesthetic slanted roof bedroom. And I asked you guys if you want to see a tutorial. You guys love the bedroom, by the way. And you guys did want to see a tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing that tutorial. Again, here is a closer look of the bedroom. Absolutely gorgeous. It's probably one of the best build bedrooms I've ever made in my life. Just look how pretty it is. It has that nice slanted roof. It's, de it's simple, but I honestly think it looks absolutely perfect. For this bedroom, you will need advanced placement, which is required, and then basement is optional. I'm gonna be doing in this video two different methods to build the slanted roof, because not all of y'all might have basements, but you might have advanced placement. So I'm gonna be showing you guys two methods to build this bedroom. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off by building the walls of this bedroom. This bedroom is a three by four, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by building a three by four room. And because I am making, showing you guys both methods, I will be doing two bedroom builds, which by the way, I will be leaving the timestamps down in the description. If you guys don't wanna wait this whole tutorial, you could skip to the exact method you're gonna be using and see exactly how to build it from there. The first bedroom I'll be building will be using advanced placement and basements, and the second one will just be using the advanced placement. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with placing some flooring. I will be coloring this linen and we'll be using the material wood planks. The first thing we're gonna do is start working on that slanted roof because that's the first thing we wanna get done so it doesn't interrupt the rest of our building process. Okay, so what you wanna do for this first method is you want to go to the basement story of your builds, keeping your roof on so you can see everything. And we're gonna start off by building the, we're gonna be using a flat roof and we're going to raise it up. You can raise it up to right about here is just fine. Then what you want to do to make sure that the slanted roof stays, and so this is like the most important step, is placing this carpet. You wanna make sure you choose this carpet so it can stay over the entire roof. Then go into basic shapes, and you wanna choose the inverted wedge. You wanna choose this one right here, and you can just place it wherever, because right after, you wanna change your grid size to right there, and you want to center this wedge. Next, we're gonna be resizing, so you can change your grid size to the small size again, and we're gonna be resizing this. We want it to be the whole width of the wall, and then we're also going to change the height as well. After you've done all that, you're gonna take this front arrow right here, and this controls the slant of your roof. This is gonna control how slanted you want your roof to be, so we're just gonna go ahead and adjust that. If you want the bedroom to look like mine, about right here for slantage is just fine. And then you can go ahead and move this backwards so you don't have a weird gap. If you think you're good, you can go ahead and delete the wall, check the slantage, which I think we're perfectly fine. I think we literally got it exact to how I had it before. And then since we have confirmed all that, you can go ahead and delete the flat roof. And there you have it. You have a slanted roof, guys. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna start with the decoration of the room. We're gonna go ahead and place down our pillars around the room. The color of these pillars are industrial white and has the material plastic, and you can go ahead and put these in all of the corners of the room. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and place our bed in. I'm copying and pasting it. Um, you guys don't have that, so I'll be telling you guys the materials. This is the log, the double log bed, and the colors I use for are sage green, and this one is plastic. The second color is light stone gray. Um, then the pillow color is sage green, and the wood log part of the bed is colored linen. So you guys can go ahead and color your bed those colors as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and color our slanted roof. We're coloring this a plastic fossil gray color. And then we're also gonna color this roof the same color as well. We're coloring it fossil gray. We're gonna color the rest of our walls as well. These two side walls parallel to each other. These are both ghost gray. And then this wall right here is industrial white and has the brick on it. Gonna go ahead and add our wall trim as well. I'm using the flat crown molding for the top wall trim and the tall flat baseboards for the bottom wall trim of the room. Speaking of wall trim, we need to add now add the structurals to our bedroom. As you can see in the original bedroom, there are structural beams along the sides and the top, and we're gonna be adding that to our bedroom as well. What you wanna do is, I'm gonna be copying it, but you have to take the standard square beam. It's colored industrial white plastic. Of course, as usual, most of the stuff in this room is. 
um, you can color it the same color as the wall trim and you want to use custom placement and we want to scale it along these sides which this is kind of difficult to do um, but just try and get it as perfect as possible as you can see mine's isn't perfect but that's perfectly fine and then we're going to do the other side as well same as before i've now finished the one on this side and now we want to do one straight across the top as well Again, in reference to color, these standard square beams are colored industrial white and smooth plastic. And now I'm going to take these string lights, which I'm using the classic string lights, and I'm going to put them right, use custom placement and put them right on top of the bed. These and all of the lights in this build should be colored linen. So for the lighting, you guys can color it linen. And then for the string of it, you guys can color it industrial white as usual or any type of light color. I'm just gonna go ahead and place the door. You guys don't have to use this door, this is just the door I'm using. Next, we're gonna be placing the window. You wanna take the industrial window and center it. We're gonna color that industrial white. And then we're going to use the panel curtains. It doesn't matter if you use the long or the short ones, they're both fine, and you're gonna place it on the window. Next, I'm taking the basic square painting and I'm placing it right next to it. And then I'm just taking the horizontal neon lights and I'm placing them around the painting as well. Then as always, we want warm lighting. So I'm coloring both of these linen and then we're done with the painting area. Let's now build the front area. You wanna take the rustic dresser and we're going to color it. We're gonna color the wood part linen and the handles we're gonna color pastel yellow. Over that, we're gonna be placing the round mirror and that is colored sage green. For the decorations, we have this stack of books right here, these ordered plain books, and these are all the colors. We have ghost gray, light stone gray, fossil, and we have mid gray. Now we're adding the plants. We have the elegant plant and the mini plant sapling. These are the colors for both, which I believe are the same. They both consist of light stone gray, sage green, and linen. Now for the last and final part, you wanna go ahead and grab the plain large painting. I have mine, has like an aesthetic beach picture on it. It doesn't matter what decal you use, that's just the one I use. And then you're gonna go ahead and take the vertical neon lights and you're just gonna put them around. I totally almost forgot, but you also wanna grab the rustic ceiling lamp, which again, which should be colored linen and for the outside white, but you should grab that and you put it over the dresser and now we are finally done. And guys, we have fully completed this bedroom and this is what it should look like. It is absolutely so pretty. Starting the second bedroom, this one, again, you only need advanced placements. No other game passes are needed and I'm gonna be showing you guys starting with the technique to making the slanted roof. For this method of making the slanted roof, you wanna go into structural and we will be using the wooden planks. Specifically, we will be using the horizontal planks. So what you wanna do for this method, you wanna take the horizontal plank, use it, and using custom placement, you wanna take it from the very top corner of the room and you wanna scale it down diagonally. And this will create the slanted arch for our roof. The only thing about this method is you really have to be super precise. If you mess up any of these wooden planks, it will seriously mess up your bedroom. So you wanna be super precise. Make sure you're lining up just at the corner and make sure you're slanting it down all the way and make sure it's absolutely perfect. You wanna do this because by the time we're done, we're gonna have so many wooden planks coming across this whole thing that if you messed up even one, it would be so hard to fix. And because it's, we're gonna have so many different wooden planks, we're gonna go ahead and color this now so we don't have to worry about it later. And then doing that, we're gonna just copy and paste the wooden plank that we already have and then we're gonna do the rest of them. Again, using the same technique, you wanna line it up at the corner and then drag it down to the other side. Make sure they're lining up absolutely perfect. Like before you press the check mark, I like to look underneath, see if they're lined up, see if they're like matching everything like that. And then I'll press check. And then we're gonna do a, the exact same thing. Just again, line it up at the corners and drag it down. And just to make sure this doesn't take too long, I will be doing a little time lapse.
Okay guys, and we have fully finished the slanted roof. Now all you want to do is just delete this wall in front of it. And guys, that's how you do it. Now we have the absolute perfect slant to now build the rest of our bedroom. Let's go ahead and add our bed in. This is the double log bed and these are all the colors. We have sage green plastic for the first one. Then we have light stone gray for the second color. The third color should be sage green and the fourth for the log slash wood is linen. Let's go ahead now and build our structurals on the bedroom. So we're using the standard square beam and we're lining it up on the sides. Same thing for the other side. And then put one going all the way across the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our wall trim. For the top, we're using the flat crown molding wall trim. And for the bottom, we're using the tall flat baseboard. Let's go in and add our pillars as well. These pillars are colored plastic and industrial white. Now we can get started with the interior. We're gonna go ahead and color the walls the same as the slanted roof, so fossil gray. We're gonna go ahead and add our classic string lights in as well. These should be colored linen and industrial white or any kind of light color. Now we're gonna go ahead and color the rest of the walls, the two walls parallel. These both should be ghost gray. And the last one over here should be colored industrial white and should have the brick pattern. Going ahead and placing my door. You guys don't have to use this door. This is just the door I'm using. Let's go ahead and place our dresser as well. We're using the rustic dresser and on top of that we have the stacked books, I think it's called. Here are the colors of the dresser. We have the lily white for the outside. On the top we have the linen and then the handles are pastel yellow and then these are the colors for the books. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the round mirror that we're gonna be using and place that on the top. Don't mind me copying and pasting everything, it's just easier for me, but just grab the round mirror and I'll show you the coloring for everything in a second. So the round mirror should be colored sage green and we're gonna go ahead and grab in our rustic ceiling lamp. The color of the lighting should be linen and then the outside is lily white. Last thing we need to do over here is grab the plant. So we have the elegant plant and we also have the mini sapling plant. And this is the coloring, they are both colored the same. Next, you want to grab the basic square painting and we're just gonna put that on the side. Then we're gonna grab our industrial window with our panel curtains and we're gonna center that. And the window is colored industrial white. For around the painting, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the horizontal neon lights, which you can color linen, and I'm going to nicely place them around the painting. And the last and final part, you're gonna go ahead and grab your plain large painting. I just have this aesthetic beach painting that I'm using. You don't have to use it, you can use anyone you like. And then just grab your vertical neon light and place it around. And guys, this is the final product for the bedroom. Okay, so this is the first bedroom we built today and this is the one where you use basements and advanced placement, which looks absolutely so nice. And then we have the second bedroom where we just use the advanced placement method and look how good they look. Doesn't matter which method you use, both of these bedrooms look absolutely perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys learned, hopefully learned a lot about making this bedroom and I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I hope you guys are able to use this bedroom also in your builds as well. Anyways guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. I really appreciate y'all clicking on today's video and watching it, I really appreciate it. I hope this helps, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you guys have the most spectacular day ever and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.